Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial we will speak about the mesh selection, why do we need this and how to actually use it. Mesh selection is a process where we mark the triangles for different purposes. One of the purposes is to hide areas which is not needed if you have a big mesh or the other is to identify areas on which later we will build our cut entities. In order to start using mesh selection, you need to enter in the, in the mesh selection mode. This happens by either pressing the button on the main toolbar or you can go to the reference mesh and select mesh selection. And the quickest way to do this is if you right click, in the context menu, you just select Mesh Selection. So there are different ways of um, marking the triangles. One is the, using the magic wand, which is based on the curvature. And the other one is just by painting and brushing on top of the object. So when we paint on the triangles, they are marked in red by default. Always the user can, if he doesn't like this, you can go in settings and options and choose a different color for his mesh selection. For example, I can make it green. Then when I go to mesh selection, it will be colored in green. I will just put this back to its default color. So if we go in mesh selection now, the first one, the first way of uh, selecting triangles is by magic one. This works by left clicking on a triangle which is in our area of interest. How this works is that it uses a angle between the triangles and spreads away the selection and this is uh, what we mark. This sensitivity can be controlled by using the slider. By moving it, we just change what triangles will be selected. Another way of controlling this is by holding the control key and using the mouse wheel. This is the same as we if we just use the slider. Another way of doing selection is by using manual tools. The first of the manual tools is freehand and you just paint on the screen. And if you see, it just fills the area underneath in red. So this is which um, part, which triangles will be selected. Lifting the left mouse button will actually apply the selection on the triangles. At any point, you can unselect all of the triangles by clicking the deselect all button on the toolbar or by right clicking and choose deselect all command. The other way of selecting is using a freehand. This is very similar to freehand field, but it just uses and will select what we actually pay. The last tool for selecting is by drawing a line. In some cases, it's quite useful that the user wants to just to drag a line and this is what he needs to be selected. Let's try to see these or this. Now as you see there is a circle on the screen which shows the thickness of the brush, how big the brush will be. The size of this brush can be controlled by using the control key and the mouse wheel. By using this we just increase or decrease the size of the brush. So again, I say that holding the control key and the mouse wheel will change the size of the brush. At any point when you do some selection, you can right click and call undo. There is no limit of the steps of the undo operation, so you can do this as many times as you need. The other way you can access this is by selecting the edit menu and select undo. Also there is a shortcut 
So pressing Control Z will actually undo our selection. I will just unselect all for now. There is one optional button here which is called Select From Facing Only and we'll go through this for for a while until I just explain what it is about. So if we look at the mesh, there are some triangles which we see now on the screen, but some of them are at the back. So with this mod enabled, you can just paint on top. And then as you see, nothing is selected at the back. So you actually see only the front facing triangles, the, the triangles which are visible on the screen. This option can be turned on and off by using this, this button or by right clicking and selecting front facing only command from the context menu. So let me turn this off for now. In this case, I will just mark this area. And as we see now, even the back facing triangles, they are all selected. So why do we need to do this selection? If we have a big object, which is heavily manipulated on the screen, or there are some areas which you cannot access to work with the other tools, you can always just select an area, right click, and say, hide select. So this will be, will hide all triangles, so they are normal, visible, and you cannot paint on them, or you cannot use them at all. At any point, you can just bring back the mesh to its original state by selecting Show Hidden. Or, if I hide this, I can right-click and select Show Hidden command from the context menu. There is another useful command, which is called Isolate. The Isolate command works in the following way. It just takes everything else which is not selected. It will actually hide the rest. So let's try this. I'll just press isolate. So as you see, what we selected actually remains on the screen and everything else is turned to a hidden state. This is really useful. If again, if you have a big um, object, you can just select a small portion, then you can right click, isolate then you can start working on this piece only. At any point, you can go and show him. So, now, if we have something selected manually, we can always unselect an area, which if we just select this piece, for example, and we want to unselect only this area, the way it works is you just hold the Alt key and use the same command as you normally would do. But in this case, instead of adding selection to the existing one, it will actually remove the selected area. So in such a way, you can refine your selection. Again, getting back to the... Um, I will just unselect all... Uh, getting back to the magic one. This is a sensitive. You can click here. You can know if you click again, it will just take what is underneath, if it's selected or not, and it will alter the selection. What I mean is, in such a way, we can just click down and click this one. So now I have all these selected. But if I click here, it will unselect this one. Only by clicking. You don't need to use the Alt key in this case. So the Alt key for selection is only applicable when you use the manual paint brush tools. The two, the last two buttons on the navigation dialog are the isolate and uh, hide selected triangles. So you can access this command from here or you can access from the context menu. In the next tutorials, we will learn more about the primitives and why all this selection makes sense and how the selection can be used to help us reconstructing the features of the cut model. Thank you for watching.